Hey, what's up everyone? This is Lance with Indie Filmmaking. Today I'm going to show you really quickly how to import raw footage filmed with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera right into Premiere Pro CC. I do have the latest update to Premiere, so I'm not sure if this applies to later generations of Premiere. Uh, so first thing I do is just go to import or double click. And when you film raw on your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, it puts each file or, you know, each clip into its own subfolder. So you click into these subfolders and you can see you got all the DNG files, which is each frame, and the audio as well, nested all into one folder. So simply all you do is go to the very first one, uh, image sequences isn't even highlighted so you can't even import it like that. Uh, just click on the very first one, you can double click or go over here to open. And once it imports you'll see that it's just one file. Uh, very handy almost just like an MOV file it's all nested into its one thing it gives you the duration right there and you can click double click on it it opens up into my little preview here and just like any other file you can scrub I like to go to a half resolution you know even a quarter sometimes when I'm working with raw files uh, back to half resolution and you can scrub uh, I film the snail right out here in my patio section I set up a rock and Put my black magic pocket camera i had the night core uh, 105 millimeter macro 2.8 lens uh, all filmed in raw i will actually show you the what i created um, here's a quick little preview of it okay so i had all those takes i basically just imported each file exactly how we just did. I'll go into this, I'll grab the first one. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this. I haven't done that much research to do that yet, but this is just how I did it. So now I have three different takes and I'll just double click on it and scrub through. And I'm gonna do a quick sequence just to you know show you how I put it into the sequence and how easy it is to color grade. So next thing I'm gonna do is a uh, file new and sequence or control N, command N on Mac. I am under the Blackmagic Design, uh, 1920 by 1080 and 24 frames per second. You can name it whatever you'd like. Now that I have my sequence, I'm just gonna go here, set an endpoint and set an outpoint. So I can bring both and have the audio, but the audio is not important to me. So I'm just gonna drag this in and you can see it just brought it in right as its own file. Sorry, my computer it's a little sluggish with the recording program and Premiere and RAW files, so it's doing its best. Uh, over here, I'll change this to half really quick just to help. I'm gonna use the plus or minus keys to uh, zoom in on my timeline. Uh, and here's the, uh, the clip. You can expand this out a little bit, I'm sorry. Well, and get a little preview. All right, so next I'm gonna go over to, I can either go to color or you can go to effects, go to uh, Lumetri, uh, presets, get a cinematic, grab anything like that. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go right to color. All right, now that it's figured itself out, um, it is due. F I'm due for a major update on my RAM and probably just new computer in general. Ever since I got the Black Magic Pocket Camera, it's just taken a toll on my computer. So now that we're over here, you can see that we have scopes over here. Uh, obviously, I didn't fully correct my white balance. You can see I'm real heavy on the blue side here. Um, highlights aren't too bad and my blacks aren't, you know, bad at all. So just to do a quick thing, I mean, you can apply a preset, but I'm just going to ignore the creative side of it. I'm just going to go basic uh, correction just for this tutorial. Um, all right. So first I would, you know, let's warm it up a little bit. It's a little too blue in my, you know, it's not that natural. So it's a little warmer, it's looking a little better. I'm gonna add some contrast. And you can see as you use these sliders, it really does a good job at not overdoing things. You know, you can really fine tune some good stuff. Uh, I do have a little bit of highlight flow out there. I might bring that down just a little bit to bring more detail into the rock. Uh, let's bring in some blacks and bring up the saturation. And it's still looking a little blue, so I'm gonna warm it up a little bit more. And right there, we can go over here, preview, and you can see just that little bit just made a huge difference. So that's all I'm going to dive into today. Uh, you know, play with all these sliders, get into your creative side. You can add, you know, fade it a little bit to give it kind of a film look. Uh, it's just really good to go in here and sharpen it. Just a lot of stuff. 
So that is it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Any questions, comments, any tips for me, uh, please leave them down below in the comment section. I really appreciate it and have a good day.